Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with another speed painting video. This time it's for a pair of shoes that was inspired by Disney Pixar movie Up. You can see the cool fancy picture there. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about it before I got onto the speed painting video and give you a little bit of advice, tell you a little bit about my story on how I came up with the uh, design and how it ended up being the way it is. Now, I've done a pair of Up shoes before. In fact, I've done the same design quite a few times on Tom's back when I was doing shoes regularly and had all the freaking time in the world to do it. But this time around, I knew that I needed to do something different. There was no way I'm going to put the same old design that I've done onto the same pair of shoes and pass them off. I couldn't be happy with it. There's no way that I could personally be like, yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. No. I needed to make sure that I pushed myself and did something new and original and just something I'd never done before. I really actually struggled with this pair. My only guidance was it's got to be up, themed, and the house with the balloons. From there, go crazy. And sometimes having that broad of a request is, it's both, it's both freeing, because you can do whatever you want, but then it's also like, you didn't give me direction, what am I supposed to do? So it works both ways. Like sometimes some people need exact direction of what they want, because they don't want to like, you know, thinking outside the box sometimes a little too much. But sometimes not having any restrictions is really good and it's freeing. So this time around, I needed to come up with something different. In fact, I love the way they came out. I like that this, like I used the clouds basically around the whole bottom of the shoe. I used a way different color of blue. This time around, I used characters. In my other design, you can see, no characters anywhere. Just elements from the movie. You got the badges, the handprints, all that stuff. But no characters. And the reason for that is because honestly, way back when I did those a few years ago, I was afraid. Now, painting Disney characters on an area this big is not easy work. It's really easy to make them look all lumpy potato face, and it's just, I, I can't sit by that. That's like one of my personal pet peeves, is when I see Disney-inspired artwork and the faces are just lumpy potato messes. That's just, it's me, it's my preference. Some people are okay with it, some people like it. Just not me, not this guy. So, I was afraid to put tiny little characters because I didn't want potato faces. But now that I've had practice, my skills have gotten better over the years as I've done more and more artwork, I said I gotta put the characters in there, and I did, and they, I think they came out really good. But the point is, as an artist, if you are doing this, if you're taking any of my tips or any of the advice, watching my tutorials, one thing you should know is you need to push yourself to do something different, always. Just try, try something different, use a different paintbrush. You know, use a bigger one, use a smaller one. Something that will make you do something different and not produce the same thing over and over. Now on that same note of being original, when I was actually painting this pair of shoes, I had someone reach out to me, a lady named Christina reached out to me saying, hey, there's someone in my Facebook group out here in Miami who is using your image and saying that it's theirs, they're gonna make shoes, and they've definitely stolen your image. The reason she knew, because this person who stole my image wasn't smart enough to remove the part that says Dano Flores custom artwork which is funny because normally when I put my watermark on there, I watermark it so you can't crop it out. <laughs> Suckers, I gotcha. But the point isn't to make fun of this lady who is obviously desperately trying to get attention by using other people's work. The point is, this is a perfect example of what not to do. If you are going to be getting into the DIY, crafting, Etsy, whatever, sell your crafts online world, don't do that. Never steal somebody else's images and try to pass them off as your own. It's just bad form. It's just terrible, terrible etiquette. But I want to spin that around and actually look at the other side and let you guys know that Christina, now the reason Christina even reached out to me in the first place is because she herself has a little boutique shop out in Miami. It's called Lily Bean Couture. Cool little embroidered kids clothes. It's just really, really neat stuff and you guys should check it out. There's a link down below. But the fact is she had no idea who I was, but she saw my name on there and was just a good Samaritan about it and reached out to me, said, hey, Heads up, someone's stealing your stuff. She didn't have to. She took time to do that. And that action right there is the reason the DIY crafting world is as awesome and as cool as it is because of people like Christina. So there's other people who will steal people's images and just have no original bone in their body. And then there's those awesome people like Christina who go that extra mile. So as you're creating, if this is something you want to do or you want to paint and you want to take any of these tips and learn how to do it yourself, and maybe sell them one day or get into anything like that. Remember, be original, help out other creators as often as you can, 
and everything will just kind of fall into place and work out well. Now, enough of my rambling. Thank you guys so much for sitting through this. Let's get on to the speed painting. So cool, but it's me like 